YouTube, what's up, man? It's late at night. They called me. I have to make my first couple picks in the fantasy draft, my first overall pick. I had pick number 28, which sucks. But I will get another pick in like eight picks or something. So that's what's good. We're going to go back to back. Yes, I was asleep. That's why I had the drunk V-neck. And they hit me up. It is almost midnight. And they said, you got to make your pick. All right, so let me show you guys who was already taken. I'll show you how the draft went. Some questionable things. And chat, my chat on Twitch is, is helping me right now, too. So you guys can follow that at, at twitch.tv slash dub dot. If you're not, you're asleep. But the first pick in this draft was uh, Lamar Jackson, obviously, for his speed and uh, everything like that. So Lamar Jackson was the first pick. Patrick Mahomes, Miles Garrett, Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson. Miles Garrett was super questionable. Fletcher Cox at six was crazy. Baker Mayfield, got to get a young quarterback. Gurley, then Barkley, Aaron Donald. Jalen Ramsey, Tyreek Hill went at 12. Um, where else am I at here? Uh, Khalil Mack, 13. DeAndre Hopkins, 14. Michael Thomas at 15. 16 is Zeke Elliott. 17, Joey Bosa, Von Miller, Cam Newton, Kyler Murray. So every mobile quarterback is pretty much off the board. So quarterback's really not an option for me. Odell, Denzel Ward, Jamal Adams, Byron Jones, Andrew Luck, Antonio Brown, and J.J. Watt. Um, so... For me, I have a pick, and right now, as I think about my pick, I'm going to have, it's going to be, you know, maybe eight picks, and then I get another pick. So I'm going to have two good players. So for me, i got to think about who am I going to pick first. My chat is helping me. I need a little bit of help. Um, it's pretty much going to come down to Demarcus Lawrence, Cam Jordan, Derwin James, uh... That's per Julio Jones is still available. Now, to pass Julio Jones, you gotta have I feel like I can have uh pretty much I don't wanna say pretty much any receiver, but to have Julio Jones, that's pretty much makes you unguardable, really. Yeah, all the fast guys are gone. You can go ahead and put uh they said you can eventually put some stuff on the with the quarterbacks. So for me, the only person questionable here is Julio Jones. Um I, I do like Derwin. I do um I think he's a little bit different. Um, but is he first pick worthy is my question. Cornerback, Gilmore's here, Pat Pete. Uh, Pat Pete Pat Pete's probably 30 now, 29. Um with the way fumbles are, I do like Derwin James. I do like that type of person in my backfield. This is Malcolm Jenkins. He sucks in Madden. Um Derwin James, I mean, I think this is a good pick. Um to be how old is he? 23 years old. He's a superstar. Earned superstar end zone abilities. Um, that's a pretty crazy pick. He, I mean, I guess Dan Harrison Smith been in the league a long time. My man shot with the hopes. I appreciate it. Der, Derwin, Derwin would say, you think Derwin's going to... I'll tell you this. I would assume... Derwin, uh, there's a couple pass rushers that are here that are good. Obviously, Demarcus Lawrence and Cam Jordan are the two best with, you know, the superstar abilities and stuff. I even think, I think fat-ass Calais Campbell has superstar ability too, okay? But there also are some other superstars or some pass rushers that I like that don't necessarily have the superstar for my next pick, i.e. Dan Danielle Hunter, Clowney. Who was here? Clowney is here. So Clowney is definitely, I mean, I don't know how Clowney wouldn't be a possibility here as well. You know. You know, so this is I I mean. Ah. Uh, so it's a tough decision ultimately for me. Derwin or Julio? I think the one thing about Julio Jones is that he's kind of different. You know, if I don't get Julio, I'm going to wind up with, like, Allen Robinson and, you know, Josh Gordon. I wish Julio was a tad bit faster. That's my biggest. And I feel like I can take, as much as I, I feel like I can take a decent receiver I feel like I can take a decent receiver and do work, if that makes any sense. Julio is 30 years old now. 
pass rusher X does matter the most. I, but I also feel like I can take I can take a pass rusher, get him to that ability. What I can't teach is height and speed that Derwin has. You know, and to be that young Derwin James. Ah oh, man, so that's what I'm thinking, Chet. Pass rush is going. To, pass rush is always important. It always is. Um, I do like Eddie Jackson too, man. I don't know why I like Eddie Jackson, but I like Eddie. J Not for this pick, but maybe like, dude, he's a monster. You know, to, to be able to pop, have zone, and play wreck like that, like, dude is dude is tough. But, like I said, that's the damn sure not this big. Pick Derwin. Julio's going to be gone. Hopefully I can come back and grab a Slay or a Kyle Fuller or even a Pat Pete on my next. My next pick, I could be able to get Pat Pete or I go with the pass rusher, honestly. Yeah, I think we go ahead and grab Derwin. Is he going to change the game that much more? Then say, yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna drag. We're gonna grab Derwin James. You know we like to play physical football. What's the lane of Julio? Or do you think Julio? You think go who Jones? I will tell you my history in Madden. Whether it be whether it be whether my history be uh, draft champion live events, whether it be building a team, uh, whether it be salary cap, when I rely on a D line, I lost. Julio Vert, the chat telling me Julio right now. Julio Jones. I don't want D-line. The routes don't mean that much to me. They don't. I mean, dude, like, the routes the routes don't mean that much to me. But, man. Let's do it. Offense wins championships, man. Yeah, I see the chat. See, I'll be listening to the chat too much, YouTube. I don't know. Oh, man. It says physical under uh, archetype physical. Uh, okay, okay. Archetype physical. Let's do it. Who Jones? Welcome to the squad, man. I'm telling you, there's nobody else like Julio Jones. Hopefully, we get the rest of the rest of the picks. Rest of the picks tonight, and I can come back with another pick. This is my first pick, 28th overall, Julio Jones. Two years ago, he would have been probably the first pick overall. To get him at 28, I feel is good. The one thing about offensive players, honestly, the one thing about offensive players that I always like when you pick offensive players, whether it be draft champions, whether it be if you're starting a, if you're playing, if you're playing Mutt and you want to choose between a defensive player and an offensive player, I control what Julio Jones does. You know, if I want him to run a slant, that's my control. An offensive player, you're always under control of that person. So for me, it's always better to pick them. I'll tell you, I can remember two specific times in MCS events where I got a D-line. Draft champions, the one where I lost to Joe Rice. I had team of the year Aaron Donald. I had team of the year Jadavion Clowney. I had absolute dogs on the D-line. I don't think I got to stop the whole tournament. Also, Madden Championship, Madden 17. I remember I had some decent D linemen like Shane Ray, Collegiate Shane Ray. I had some average like 25 to 30 cappers. I sold them all and put Joey Bosa, the best Joey Bosa on my line. Didn't get a stop the whole tournament. They didn't make a play, man. So for me to rely on my D linemen is going to frustrate me. But now I got Julio Jones. I can rely on him to make some plays. He's 30 years old. Probably one of the only reasons he lasted this long. But for me... I'll probably get four years out of him, and then by the time I get going, I'll be able to groom the next quarterback. But now this kind of affects my next pick. You know, do I go with another wide receiver? Do I get Thielen? 
Do I get a Marquise Goodwin? Do I get a burner? What do I do after this? Or do I have to say, now I got an offense, now let's go defense? Because after my next pick, there's going to be tons of people left, or there's going to be tons of picks before my next pick. So I'm going to have these two picks and then pretty much nobody else. So let's think about what my next pick could be. And I'll tell you what, I have an idea, but tune into the next video so you can see who my second pick is going to be.